Hey you guys. I was going out for a hike this morning and I thought, what truck should I take? And I realized it had been a long time since I'd have done the video with the uh, original Gen 1 deadbolt. So that's what I decided to take out. I'm gonna take it out, run it through the wash, see if all these improvements have helped or hurt. See if we can get some better performance out of it if we change something else. Stick around. A couple of the modest upgrades I've done on this one. Of course, I got the uh, metal bumper up front. And underneath, a rather large metal, a super dense metal. I won't tell you what, because I don't want to get in trouble. I actually made that by melting that super dense unnamed metal down and forming it in there. And then I just got it kept in there with some uh, safety wire. And we got my LED light on there. And underneath, Got the uh, carbon fiber battery tray. You can see that name brand is there. Uh, I did an episode on this one with the cheap truck parts a while back. So if you want to go back and look at that one, you can find that one. Got this freaking Spectrum receiver. I'll tell you how long I've had this when I was still trying to make Spectrum work for me. Uh, regular 35 turn brush motor and a stock ESC because like I said these things are not fantastic at anything except lasting a good long time uh, this is a 3d printed uh, high clearance rear bar designed by Harley designs one of my favorite youtuber guys and of course the green wheels that I was running on the Wraith with the Predator compound tires uh, the metal skid plates on the sides Another cheap truck part. I think these were 11 or $12 on Amazon. Uh, the metal front axle actually came with a truck I bought a while back, but it seems to work okay. It's got all the metal links and everything. Uh, that's about all of the upgrades that have been done to this. This is still the stock transmission, uh, the stock drive shafts. This, the original rear end I uh, just changed up to... Uh, metal uh metal links front and rear mm, that's about it i moved all of the weight off the rear end which does make it a little strange when you're going downhill but this one doesn't tea kettle very much anyway that's what's going on now watch it on the trail <laughs> 